We've got a few days in now to the incubation process. I have a towel over the incubator, that is to trap some of the heat, uh, just to reduce the cost of actually incubating these eggs. It still allows uh, airflow in, so it's not going to damage it, the process at all. I have a couple of pieces of wood that are really just to help reduce the sound. These things can be a little bit noisy. And I'll keep things going until day 14, day 15, and we have to do some changes to the, the level of the humidity, and we will stop the egg turning process. Currently the eggs are turning every two hours. Now that we've reached day 14, the next step is to bring the humidity up. This is a simple process of adding some water. There's some holes on the side, and I just use a syringe and just inject. And you'll watch the numbers, you'll see the numbers go up. And I will do this well, a couple times a day, maybe three times a day, for the next, right to the end of the hatch. I'll just keep adding different parts of the incubator and as you can see the numbers will already start rising now the humidity has come up into the mid 80s uh, hopefully it rises a fraction more which would be great at this point I'm going to just leave it for the night this is day 14 so tomorrow day 15 we'll stop the egg turning and i'll take the inserts out the egg tray inserts and just lay the eggs on the bottom uh, the other option is you put a muslin cloth across the top and just leave the eggs on top of that and just let them hatch like that but i don't have that i'm just going to take out the tray and let the eggs uh, sit on the bottom so they can hatch on a flat surface but everything's going pretty well right now it's now day 15 so what we're going to do now is take out the actual tray insert and lay the eggs down so that they can hatch on the flat flat bottom. The alarm will go off but that's okay. It won't be for too long. Oh. Now I can take the tray out. And it's just a matter of putting the eggs in the bottom. I got 92 because I dropped, I dropped two. Uh, 94, I should have had 96, but I dropped two when I put them in. The eggs are now flat on the bottom, and this is a period of a lockdown, so I won't open it up at all. I'll just keep adding some water to increase the humidity for the next couple of days, and they'll be hatching pretty soon. It's now the morning after the first lot hatched. Now the process is to transfer the ones that are in good shape over into the brooder. Uh, now I'm going to do a process of just lifting them out, transfer them into a little carry case, and I'll do that quickly. We don't want to muck up the humidity in there for the ones that are still in the eggs. And I'll leave any ones that have just freshly hatched. They'll be kind of wet. I'll just leave them so that they can uh, have time to actually dry out. They should be fluffy when you transfer them.
There's one died unfortunately, so I'll have to get rid of that one. That does happen unfortunately from time to time. Just removing some of the spent eggshells. Just a few. And that's probably long enough. The temperature, the ambient temperature in this room is pretty warm at the moment, so it's not too bad. I'd like to do this quicker than this, but it is getting into summer here. So it's not too bad. And that'll do for now. The humidity will take some time to recover and the temperature will yeah, also take some time to recover, but that shouldn't be too bad. It wasn't too long and as I said the ambient temperature is pretty warm.